Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about how to delete the data. So before getting started with the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. In previous video, we discussed about how to update the data. In this video, we'll be seeing how the data is getting deleted. So in this video, we'll normally see how the data is deleted and in coming videos, we'll see about how uh, to delete the data using the confirmation text. So let's get started with the code. So this is a button. Let's go to index.php and here let us close this model and open this div tag. Here you can see you have one button for this let us close all this you have one anchor tag so here what we'll do is we'll give a class for this as delete delete button here give a hash now what we'll do is we'll copy this button copy and similar way how we have done for edit and new data we have to play with jquery so what we'll do is get the document ready so tell jq doc inside this document we'll have jq click once that button is clicked so the selector i am using class so give a dot let us console log this console dot log and i'm gonna print hello let's test this first let us go back inspect refresh go to console and here when i click delete data i'm getting that hello but i don't need hello here i need the id and i should be able to delete the data so what i'll do here is i'll comment this and we have to get the closest value so what we are doing here is here we'll tell dollar this dot closest closest of what closest of tr so copy this tr and paste it here closest of tr is td right so we are going to find that td and take the class id so here i have given class if you are using id make sure you give a hash so copy this class name copy here with a dot paste it and tell dot text okay done and now let us store this into a variable. I'm going to tell student ID or I'll tell user ID. Now let's console log this, cut this, paste it here. Uncomment this line of code and pass this user ID here. Now let us go reload and click on delete data. I'm getting that user ID. So when I click on two, I'm getting two. One, I'm getting one. Now let us go back. We are getting this. So here we'll play with Ajax. Just call the Ajax here. Comment this and tell JQ Ajax. Here, make this to method. Method is post and url is code.php and data type is not required inside data we'll have two things one is click delete button if this button is true then we are going to take the id is equal to pass this okay id colon this id here also if you want you can tell this as user id and comma so we'll be passing the response here now let us go copy this click delete button and go to code.php with the post method so go to code.php here we have update let us close this and let's give a command here delete data now let us tell if is set of dollar post of that button is clicked. When that button is clicked, 
we have to take the id and delete right here tell dollar id is equal to dollar post of user id okay so this user id is coming from here and here we will have delete query is equal to delete from test where id is equal to pass this dollar id variable and give a semicolon then here tell delete query run is equal to using mysqli query function connect your database which is here so just copy this variable paste it here let us type dollar connection and pass this dollar delete query okay pass now let's give a semicolon so here once if the data is deleted successfully we'll show the success message so let's copy this and paste it inside if if the data is getting deleted successfully then we'll just echo and tell data deleted successfully give a semicolon and in else part if there is any issue with the deletion of particular data then we will tell data deletion failed ok so now we will just console log this inside our success here we should show that message right so what we will do is so that's it here what we are doing is if the message is getting printed i mean if the message is getting deleted we are going to tell data deleted successfully else we are just echoing deletion field now go to index page and inside success just console log this console.log and call the response go back refresh click on 3 i'm going to delete this user 3 so click on delete and you can see data deleted successfully here this is not yet reloaded what we will do for that is data was deleted you just need to refresh it to see here. but here if you go and browse you can see that user data is deleted if you want the window to reload automatically just tell window dot location dot reload function okay just use this and let us delete one more data and check refresh i'm going to delete this user too so click on delete data you can see without reloading it got updated and yeah that's it in this video i hope this video was helpful in next video we will see how to confirm and delete using a pop-up model if you have any doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.